You're saying no corruption? No. None. No. There were some, there were some boneheaded decisions. Boneheaded out decisions. Of, out of a but local no office. mass corruption. Not even mass corruption. Not even a smidgen of corruption. That from nearly six months ago, Bill O'Reilly, President Obama, Super Bowl Sunday. Now, newly released emails in the IRS targeting scandal only fueling Republican calls for a special prosecutor. In those emails, Lois Lerner shows her disdain for conservatives and for Republicans in general. Cleta Mitchell's a partner at Fully and Lardner and a, an attorney representing Tea Party groups that were targeted by the IRS. Welcome back here and good morning. Good to morning. You. A couple examples for our viewers. Here's one on IRS email. So we don't need to worry about alien terrorists. It's our own crazies that will take us down. How do you see this now? Well, look, Lois Lerner was intentionally biased against conservatives and against Tea Party groups, and this just demonstrates that what happened was intentional, it wasn't accidental, it wasn't rogue agents in Cincinnati, it was the person at the very top of the food chain within that division of the IRS responsible for, for uh, re reviewing and approving applications for exempt status for all these citizens groups and they made the decision based on pressure from the White House and the President going around speaking and Democrats in Congress demanding publicly and privately that the IRS should do something to silence these groups so they did. So here's another one great maybe we are through if there are that many blank holes. Right. I would well, imagine you, you, you would think something like this shows bias. It absolutely, it absolutely shows bias. And here's another thing that we need to really start thinking about. The IRS employees belong to the National Treasurer Employees Union. They've given 94% of their contributions to Democrats this cycle. They've given money, contributions, the Treasurer's Union. These are the IRS employees and others. <clears throat> They've given to 11 of the 18 Democrats on the House Oversight Committee. And every time there's a hearing on any aspect of this um, investigation about the IRS targeting. The Democrats come in one by one and say the same thing over and over again. Let's shut this down. Let's shut this down. And I think that we need to hold the Democrats accountable because they really, they were involved in starting this and now they're trying to stop the investigation. And the more we learn, the more we realize how intertwined Lois Lerner was with the Democrats uh, in trying to go after and silence these groups. Here's one more email. And I'm talking, this was with regard to uh, some talk show hosts on the radio. And I'm talking about the host of the shows, the callers are rabid. Even if, as an attorney, you would argue bias in a case like this, you still need the Attorney General of the Department of Justice to move forward. Yes. Now, That's do you, see, do you right. see that happening? No, I, and it's outrageous because clearly, in fact, yesterday the House Judiciary Committee held a hearing on the appointment of a special prosecutor, and they had scholars, legal scholars, before them. And I went in and listened to a lot of that hearing. And it is clear that these circumstances demand the appointment of a special prosecutor. But Eric Holder is the enforcer in chief for the President of the United States, and he is. He is simply stonewalling because they don't want the truth out. They do not want to hold anybody accountable. But it, so if that, if that is the case, and that is true, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but the story stops there then, does it not? Well, you know, I think that the House Republicans have continued to hold hearings and continue to follow up on every lead and get documents and just got those emails literally within the last few weeks. And only because they have been dogged, determined, and relentless have we gotten the information we've gotten. So I, my hat is off to them to keep, and I want them to keep doing what they're doing. One more. And then we, and with, through the lawsuits, yeah. we hope to get more information. One more thing on this. Apparently these emails were, this correspondence that we're talking about today, happened about nine days after the election in 2012. We still do not have the emails mm. between the period of 2009 and 2011, right? I mean, those were the emails that have claimed to be missing or the hard drive was destroyed and now it's not destroyed or whatever the story is in the end. Will we get those, Cleta? Well, it's really hard to know the answer to that, Bill. I mean, we are, because they keep changing their story and different people keep coming to the Hill and saying, well, maybe the backup tapes weren't destroyed. We're How looking about a into server? that. You know, exactly. And they they have been doing everything they can to stonewall and to keep us from getting to the truth. But, you know, we just have to keep trying. And I mean, slowly but surely, we get more information every day. And I think we just have to be patient and keep trying. We'll see if something happens or not. Cleta Mitchell, thank you for your time. Thank you. 19